This is a cute top. Oh, it's actually a party dress from my drinking days. Wow. Were you drinking when you bought it? I hope so. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm not that kind of girl anymore. Hello. What kind of girl were you when you wore this? Popular. Oh, my God. I hate everything in my closet. It all looks like Halloween in Slutsylvania. Calm down. We'll find something. Okay, so tell me about this guy tonight. I don't know. Cute, kind of boyish. Pretty normal, really. You just described every serial killer. <laughs> no. He loves his sister, which I take as a good sign. Boing, my gaydar just went off. He's not gay. He puts ketchup on his steak. <laughs> Get what you're so jittery about. You know how to do this. I know how to do this drunk. Come on, you've been dating your boss since you got sober. Oh, you can't call what we do dating. It's just sex in uncomfortable places. I hope you mean broom closets. Yes. Oh, Mom, God. <laughs> the point is, Gabriel's married, so there's no future with him. But... This guy tonight, who knows? We could wind up with a little house, picket fence, missionary sex twice a week. You know, I had sex with a missionary once, and oddly, he was not a fan of that position. Thank you for that image. I'm just worried that if he finds out the kind of person I was, he won't like me. Oh, honey. I know it's silly. It's not silly. You should definitely lie about your past. Sometimes I like to tell guys I'm Carol Ann Stevenson from Albuquerque, New Mexico. You're kidding. Nope. Carol's a school teacher like her mother and her Aunt Judy. She loves baking and gardening and volunteering down at the homeless shelter. Now tell me about this. That's actually yours. 